Hey guys, Joshua here with Homebrew Happier. James and I, he's running camera, are here at Great American Beer Festival and our quest today is the best alt beer. So we're gonna go around, right now there's two breweries here in the Prost section that are doing alt beer and then there's only four other ones the entire show, four total, that are doing alt beer. So stay with us, we're going to be reviewing all of them and letting you know who we think is the king of alts at Great American Beer Festival 2024. See you soon. All right, the first one James and I are trying are as Older Gods from 603 Brewing here at Great American Beer Festival. James, first off, this is the first one we're tasting. What what are we looking for in the best alt at sh this show? It's got to have a copper color, which it clearly does. You notice it's super bright, which I like that. Uh, it's got good hop aroma for an alt beer. It definitely has that all beer bite, maybe a little more than I like. It's dry and bitter, could use a little more body and sweetness to kind of counter it out. Not bad, but... Uh, For the first one that we've tried, how is it? It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, like Todd it. would love this <laughs> because it's bitter and dry. And like you said, the color, beautiful. First one again right now, Older Gods from 603 Brewing. Alright, second alt of the night is uh, Booth C39 Helper Beer. And I think it was just, it was called Andy's Alt. Andy. That's what it was called. So, James's first try, what are your initial thoughts on color? It's got a good color, it's very bright and clear. Um, looks like it's got good carbonation, you can see the bubbles coming up. Definitely has an all beer smell. It's a little bit more roasted than the previous one. It's definitely not, this one is a lot drier than the last one. Um, I would probably, I'd have this under, the last one we had is probably above this one. It's not bad, but it needs a little work. So right now, it's second place. <laughs> second place, but a lot of times people don't understand what an all beer should be, taste like. So a lot of times we see more all beers tasting more like a, a roasted malt all, uh, ale. You know, we're almost to the to the stout side, and this one is kind of creeping up on that. With an alt beer, you want to have uh, the bitterness, but you also want to balance it off with just a touch of sweetness and a little bit of body. Uh, a lot of people like the thinner body or the, you know, the whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> I like the, 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 the Todd. All right, guys, we are on our third alt beer out of six, basically halfway there. Mr. Carlson, this is not a stranger. We are no stranger to this. This is Alaskan Brewery. They call it their amber, but it is an alt beer. Yep. As you can see, it's once again, they've nailed the color. It's good copper color. It's very bright. Got really good head retention. It looks like the carbonation's on point. You can see the bubbles dancing. It's got a really good all beer smell, almost like Schlussel, guys. That's a lot better. It's got a little, it's a medium body beer. It's got a little sweetness. It could be, uh, it could have a little more bitterness for the hop, for the alt beer bite, but it's, uh, so far it's my favorite. All right, Mr. Carlson, we are here for our fourth alt beer from Golden City Brewing, Legendary Red. I will say, <laughs> They had a line when we got there. Yeah, they did. In fact, the two others in front of us got the same beer. Oh, so maybe they know. Yeah, this is Legendary Red, Golden City Brewery. Very bright, got a good color, good carbonation. Oh, wow, wonderful smell. Smells like an all beer. It's extremely 
extremely dry. And uh, they've got the hops right. Once again, a little more sweetness and body, this would be perfect, but it's not bad. Uh, probably number two. Hey. All right, I like that. Two more to go. Let's see how we do. Yep. All right, guys, we are on to our fifth alt beer of the night. And look at the pours, James, that they gave us. Yeah, no, isn't that cool? The, no, no, no. I'm at the pours. Look how large they gave oh, us. Yeah, they the, poured a, a, quite a big glass. What do you think? So this is Busted Cup Brewery. They're out of Iowa, um, or was it Idaho? They're Busted Cup Brewery. I know that. We haven't been drinking that much, Mom, I swear. Yeah. But anyways, what do you think so far of the color? It's kind of uh, dark on this side. Yeah, you know what? I can actually like a darker copper color all beer. It's got good carbonation. Uh, like the creamy head. Great all beer smell, aroma. Best so far. Yeah. Tell me, tell us a little bit about what makes it the best so far. I like the fact that it's balanced body with the hops, so the bitterness and the sweetness kind of work. It's a little lighter body, but it is by far the best. You heard it, guys. Busted Cup Brewing so far. We got one more to go, and then we'll give our final thoughts. Unfortunately, guys, the last brewery that we went to, High Wind, we were going for our last alt beer of the night, and James got there said, I want your alt beer, and what they say? Uh, we forgot to bring the keg. They forgot to bring the keg? That is, by default, last place. That sounds like something I would do. That sounds like something that I would do. Todd's in the comment below. <laughs> no, James, that's what Josh would do. But let's be real, that makes them last place. Yeah, it does, yeah. There, there's no no denying. So, unfortunately, we, we would love to have High Wind Brewing Company from Kansas Send us all the beer to 1800 EDC Parkway, Comanche, Texas, 76442, Attention Homebrew Happy Hour. But until then, let's do an overview of the five we got to taste. Okay. Uh, starting with the first brewery that we had of the night, it was a 603 Brewery. It was their older gods. Thoughts of that? Or actually, you know what? I just want to hear, what do you name number one, and we'll go from there. Uh, number one was the last one that we tried. Uh, so the last one that you and I were able to drink would have been uh, the Busted Cup Brew House from Burlington, yeah, Iowa. Exactly. And That's they number gave one us for you. Pour. Yeah, they I did like, give us the best pour. I, I like the fact that they were able to be, somewhat balance the hot bitterness with the sweetness. It was a little drier, yeah. but it didn't make it any less delicious. Yeah. Good finish, good mouthfeel, good carbonation, very bright. Uh, it was hitting all the numbers. Without a doubt, my favorite. What's your number two? Number two was the last. I knew. I, yeah, the Amber <laughs> Ale. I liked it. It was a little sweeter, but it had a little less hot bitterness, and I like those to equal. But man, was it beautifully bright! Perfect carbonation, uh, good mouthfeel. Yeah, they were hitting all the numbers. Would have liked to seen just a little bit more spalter hops. That's what I use. I know, I mean, I promise guys we haven't been drinking that much, but it has been hard to keep up with which was which, because yeah. we had to walk, it's a big show floor, we had to walk a bunch, but did there, was there a standout three, four, five for you? Because I know you had told me between Helper and um, Golden City yeah. that, that they were basically tied for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, once, once I get behind uh, Alaska, Amber, the rest of them were all amazingly yep. similar. Yep. They were all... In a good way. Yeah, yeah. And and I, for one, y'all have got to understand, this is my opinion. I My my measuring stick is Schlussel. But if you like a dry, a little bitter alt beer, the rest of the pack would do. I am the Internet's foremost expert on alt beer. And I say... No. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't comment. How dare you? Um, I, I'm going to agree... Uh, with James and I, I think the gold medal for tonight goes to the Busted Cup Brew House, Burlington, Iowa. Incredible all beer, and it's not just because they gave us a full pour. It was it hit all the markers. <laughs> it hit all the markers, and if it was in the ultimate call, I think it would have medaled if not won. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. In fact, I'm really curious to see if who who wins that because guys, I can't believe we only had five people brewing all beer. Of the entire Great American Beer Festival, 
Six were published, but only five, literally only five, brought kegs of Dusseldorf Alt Beer to this show out of hundreds of breweries. Oh, yeah, hundreds of exhibitions. This, this is my first time here. And I mean, there's just block after block after block of beer. Yep, and only five alts. I can't imagine somebody doing an IPA review here. Yep, so if you want more alt beer content, tune in on October the 26th, I think, uh, end of October at youtube.com forward slash homebrew happy hour, right here. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, notification, all that jazz. James, thank you for drinking alt with me. It's an empty glass, but cheers, my friend. And we will give you more content later this week. See you later, guys.